Hey, what's up tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel. Now the biggest question that I get from people all the time is how well does SLI or Crossfire work? How many games does it actually work on? Is it worth the money? And should you actually even do it? Well, we've tested 25 different games on a test platform to show you which games actually fully take advantage of these technologies and which games really don't. So instead of hearing me talk, let's first check out that test system and then let's rock the frick out to the benchmark song and check out the Benchies. This is the current test system that we're using, but we're totally upgrading this and the next time you guys see the test scores come out, we'll have an i7-6700K on a brand new nice Z170 motherboard, so stay tuned. Now it's time to rock out to the benchmark and check those scores out. second and talk about this stuff. So as you guys can see, we tested 25 games and out of all of those games, only eight of them really didn't scale well at all with SLI or with Crossfire. And pretty much that's quite a good amount of games that actually do scale pretty well. Now, the big question out there is, is do you need this? Now, if you're a person who has a very small catalog of games and you're the type of person who just buys a game on game day, plays it, and then is completely done with it, you know, I don't know if you really might want to do this, but if you're a person who has a lot of cataloging games and Steam and stuff, and you have a lot of older games, like I have like, I'll admit it, like almost like 300, 300 games on there. So like for me, there's a lot of benefit to having either SLI or Crossfire because in certain games, when it does take advantage of it, it does a damn fine job. And obviously when it doesn't, well, that's just a few frames here and there, and it's not really worth talking about. And as newer games come out, it sometimes takes these games a while to catch up and patch everything to make sure that it works perfectly within the Crossfire or the SLI environment. Now, I will say this overall, that for the whole gaming, it did seem like just slightly a wee bit that the SLI was a little bit more stable as some of the games that we were playing in Crossfire did show some screen tearing and stuff. It's not the end of the world. I didn't even really put it inside the testing anyways because it could just be something that we saw and maybe somebody else wouldn't have it. So I'm not gonna like really push that. So pretty much you can see right now they're, you know, they're running pretty close. It's not that big of a deal. And the reason that we use these particular cards instead of all the new ones and everything out there is because these particular cards, a lot of people have out there in the world. Let's just face it. 980 sold lots and lots of cards. 290X, great well-priced card. People have them out there. So at the end of the day, I have to say this. If you've got the money, 
then having a single card is all you can get. Get the absolute best card you can get if you're doing that because that's gonna be your best solution if you're an uber gamer. But if you have, like I said, a huge, huge catalog of games, you play games all the time, replay them, having SLI or Crossfire is definitely a solution you want to have inside your system. So I'm Eric, you've been watching Tekken Tomorrow. Like usual, we'll have links down below for these cards if you want to check them out for yourself. And uh, we'll see you back here on Tekken Tomorrow for more goodness. We've got that uh, FTW coming, the Gigabyte G1 Gaming coming, and obviously something from Team Red and Black too, which you guys have all been talking about.